Hello again. This is Dr. David Richardson, the Cataract Coach, and this is part two of our four-part video of an actual cataract surgery. So now what I'm doing is I'm getting ready to actually start the, the ultrasound. You'll see that my assistant is constantly uh, watering uh, or keeping the corneal surface moist so that I have a nice clear view. Now on the edge of this you see the phacoemulsification tip. That is the ultrasound device that I'm going to use to remove the cataract. And the tip actually moves very, very quickly at a ultrasonic uh, speed. Uh, and the pink sleeve around it is actually uh, irrigating fluid into the eye and that keeps the eye formed along with the viscoelastic gel. I use a technique called horizontal chopping uh, where I use a second instrument, that's the um, titanium instrument, instrument that you see uh, up at the top of the screen. And that instrument allows me to move the uh, cataract and separate it into fragments, which I then lead toward the phacoemulsification tip. Uh, and the tip, as you can see, is, uh, is emulsifying. So it's, it's taking those fragments and uh, essentially just uh, cutting them up into tiny little pieces and then it's vacuumed out through that very tip. This is really an incredible process and we, we have uh, Dr. the late Dr. Charles Kelman to thank, thank for that. Uh, an absolutely brilliant uh, man who uh, realized one day in his uh, dental office that uh, the same technology that was used for cleaning te teeth could be used for removing cataracts. So uh, how's that for thinking outside of the box? So as you can see here, the uh, phaco emulsification is going on, and uh, this part of the surgery actually, uh, uh, although it's the bulk of the surgery, uh, does not take as long as all of the, the preparatory steps. Now what I'm doing is I'm removing what's called the um, epinucleus. That's that soft layer that I uh, created by the hydrodilineation step. And this uh, rolls up into the tip. This is actually a, a relatively... Um, uh, risky step because this is very very soft and uh, if it gets vacuumed up uh, too quickly um, the capsule is right on the other side of it and the phaco emulsification tip can actually cut a hole in the capsule remember it's very very small so I actually use my second instrument and position it between the tip of the ultrasound and the uh, the capsule itself. Uh, this is one of the advantages of using uh, a second instrument. Now as you can see as the epinucleus is being removed uh, you get a nice what we call red reflex. You're actually seeing the reflex off of the, uh, the retina but you can't see the retina itself. Now you notice it's uh, pretty clear except for over on the side you see there's a little bit of haze. That's what we call the cortical material. All right that's it for session two of our four-part series. Next, we will go over the removal of the cortex. Mm -hmm.